this is going to be a two-part video. Uh, the first part is going to be the um, talking about WSFA as the foundation and a little bit about the, well, probably a lot about the actual conference itself that we just attended or that some of us just attended. And then the other part is going to be um, the traditional fields video. So I will get going on the event itself and the organization. So for those who do not know, WSA, WLSFA, let me just make sure I actually tell you exactly what it stands for. I don't want to like misquote it. Um, I want to say it's Weight Loss Surgery Foundation of America. I'm looking at it right now. Of course, somehow I end up not getting to an actual page of oh, theirs. Yes, Weight Loss Surgery Foundation of America. Uh, this foundation will give, I want to say they'll give, um, they give grants to people that, who are looking to have bariatric surgery, and they also have given grants for people for reconstructive surgery, um, who had had bariatric surgery, uh, and they're very supportive of the actual bariatric surgeries. So, this is actually really cute. I don't know if you're going to be able to hear it, but there's a cat right next to me who is, like, just loving herself. That Woo! Sorry. Okay. So, WSFA 2016. It was held in Nashville, Tennessee. Uh, it's very exciting because I've never been to Nashville before. I do have to say I have to go back because I still don't feel like I saw Nashville. Um, I thought the event was, went really well. I... Um, the only other WSFA event I'd ever attended was the one last year in San Diego, and I would definitely say that they they asked for feedback from San Diego's event, and they took all that feedback, and they produced a really great event this year. Um, it was, the conference started on Friday, so it's Friday, Saturday, and then a part day Sunday. Um, So what do I, I'm trying to like figure out what I'll say. I never prep for these videos. I kind of get a little bit squirrely, like I go all over the place. So I'm just trying to think what I'll talk about. Um, I, I don't want to talk about that yet. Um, so I did think that the sessions were pretty valuable. Uh, there's probably a little bit of room for work on some of the sessions, but overall I thought they were really, there was a really good selection. Uh, I will say like, so the very first weight loss surgery conference I ever attended was OH 2013? Yeah, OH of 2013. Um, and I attended probably every session there because I was a few months post-op and I was, I just wanted to learn and get energetic and I met so many people just going to the sessions and I really didn't know anyone, uh, which was my first experience. So you will meet a lot of people if you go to the sessions. I now really attend these events to, um, see the people that I've connected with over the years. Um, so you know, I think you can go to the events for multiple reasons. It can be to actually attend all the sessions, or it could be to meet the people that you've talked to, or, you know, there's so many different reasons to go. Um, this event in particular, there was a lot of panels, and I really enjoyed the panel talks because we're able to hear from several people's um, their experiences and that's better than hearing one, I guess. Um, they're also motivating. They kind of brought you back to a little bit of reality of the struggles that you had in the past. Cause you know, this has been my life now for three years and, um, you forget about some of the struggles that you had prior to weight loss surgery. And a lot of those feelings that you experienced earlier in your life are now kind of coming back and you're thinking about how much has changed and um there definitely is so I'm trying to like get a piece of hair okay there it is um they're pretty powerful so 
you're you're fully submerged in the weight loss surgery community at these events. Um, I do want to give a shout out to uh, Liz for the two YouTube panels. I thought she did really well. Um, I was a little concerned since there was two that the second one was going to be the same questions from the first one. It was going to be the same answers. So, um, but she did a really great job. She actually didn't ask the questions. She didn't ask the same questions on the two panels. Um, and she also targeted her questions. So she might have asked two people the same question or focused on one person. Um, so I really liked how she mixed that up to have a panel with that. I just got something on my shirt. So just ignore that there's, that there's a stain right there now. Um, but the decorations were really cool. So both nights, so the first night was a Western cowboy type night. Uh, it had these big boots, um, middle of the stage. And then uh, the second night was the bling night. Everyone's all decked out, looking nice. Um, and they had a kind of a twilight, woodsy type feel. And so it was, um, I thought they did a great job with the decorations. I also liked that they, um, in our swag bag that they included the meals that were going to be served. So you actually knew exactly what was going to be out there and you knew the stats. Uh, I don't recall if they did that last year. Uh, I really appreciate they did it this year. I wasn't tracking anything <laughs> this weekend, but um, I really liked that they did that. I'm trying to think of all the things that are like so many. Uh, the swag bags were crazy um, in a positive way. They were loaded with all kinds of things uh, and definitely like some like name brand good things that we really like. Um, the expo did seem smaller than some years and I don't know and this is where like I get OH and I get WSFA completely like in my head. I can't distinguish all the events completely anymore from which event was what because one was in Anaheim. And then another one was in Manhattan Beach, and then San Diego, and now this one. So I'm kind of like, whew, with all the California locations. Um, so I felt like the expo was a little bit smaller, but I liked the expo. Uh, I felt like there's a lot of free, almost full-size samples there this year. So I don't know how they pulled that one off, but um, definitely liked that. And... Uh, Chris and Sarah Waffle did a really great job in seeing. Um, they're hilarious. I, I really like listening to them. Um, I'm trying to think what else. It was a, it was a really great event. I really recommend everyone to go to it. Uh, if you've had weight loss surgery and you've ever considered it, they're getting better and better at their planning and the events, um, and they truly want everyone's feedback. Uh, I believe for people that attended, they will be sending out a survey or some kind of email in the next week or so to just get feedback. Um, definitely give it to them. They're trying to do everything they can to make it the best it can be. Uh, Okay, now the one piece that I was going to say that I didn't say. Actually, you know what? I'm going to leave that for the feels video. We'll get to it later. Uh, I was on a panel. I'm going to talk a little bit about that in the next video. Um, it was great being on a panel. I would love to be on one again. Um, I, uh, oh, also watching, like being at the conference has made me want to make videos again because it kind of, it, reminded me that people are, there's so many people at every different stage of their journey and it doesn't matter what stage you're in, you still kind of want to know what other people are at the point that you're at now. Um, and even though you may not find it valuable yourself when you're making the videos, but someone may find it valuable. So you saw a lot of that this weekend and that made me want to give back to the community virtually. Uh, next year in 2017, I'm super excited because WSFA will be in Portland, Oregon. Uh, for those that don't know, I live a little bit outside of Seattle and Portland's only about a skip hop three hour drive away from 
me. Uh, so it's practically my front yard comparison. So uh, I will definitely be reaching out to the WLSFA board to see if there's anything that I can do to help them with the event. Um, I think a lot of us in the Pacific Northwest, um, obviously I can't speak for everyone, but I'm guessing a lot of us will be more than um, eager to try to help them with the planning and the actual organization and the event. Uh, just because this is our hometown region, P and Debs, uh, <clears throat> and we want to make it the best we can for everyone and let everyone see what's so great about the Pacific Northwest. So that is my on WSFA 2016 conference. Um, the next video I'm going to make is on the feels.